Center. We're just getting started. Uh, got a cup of coffee here. You guys say cup of coffee? Or is that just like a New York thing? Let me get my coffee. Uh, it's funny. Got these picks that I finally stopped dropping. I, if you notice, I don't really drop picks anymore. It's this uh, thing that's called a uh, freak. Can you read that? It's backwards to me. Freakishly large V pick. So it's freakishly large pointed is the, the type of V-Pex. It's like really, really big. But uh, it doesn't look that big here. But anyway, some kind of acrylic or something. It helps grip to my fingers and stuff. Uh, I don't know. I haven't been dropping them. But anyway, yeah. Now I dropped them on purpose. I flipped them. So, yeah. Let me get a sip of coffee. We'll talk about some hats now, too. Oh, I want to do a little Kevin's record time before we uh, forget about it. Let's get this out of the way. This is a, I don't know if I'm going to be able to play this record today because I'm afraid uh, if I do play it, I'm going to get demonetized. But you guys, feel free to tell me some of your favorite records. This is amazing. This is such just beautiful, beautiful music. It's Thick as a Brick by Jethro Tull. Um, a very good friend of mine, his name was Kenny Young. He sort of had a falling out, uh, and uh, we hadn't spoken for years and years, but um, when we were young, he turned me on to this amazing album. Uh, we were both into progressive rock and stuff like that. My big group was Queen when I was a kid. I loved Queen, and I loved the Beatles, and he was into this stuff. Um, we were both really kind of priding ourselves on being great songwriters. We became songwriting partners and stuff. He was the lyricist, and I was the... Uh, the music guy. Anyway, um, this song was kind of like that ultimate album. We always consider it like, could you imagine writing this, you know? It was um, Thick as a Brick came out in 72 from Jeff Burt's Hall. And um, it's all one song. It's one of those progressive albums where it's completely just one thing, one idea that just keeps going. And there's so many parts, it's just like, all I can say is just beautiful, beautiful music. You have to give it a chance. It's on YouTube. You can get get it all. Just part one and part two. Put in a thick as a brick full album, and um, it starts off good, but then it just gets better and better and better. And then the end of side two is a little weird. Um, and then 
side two, I mean, the end of side one is a little weird. It ends a little strange. It's the only weird part. But um, other than the end of side one, it's all just jewels. Uh, it gets more and more beautiful, kind of sacred sounding uh, as it goes along. And um, I might take the prize for my all-time favorite album, I think. There's all this cool fake news and stuff here before anybody ever said fake news. It's 72, it comes with this newspaper and stuff, you know. It's just so awesome. Don't you love album covers? Anyway, this is my uh, recommendation for today. Um, I don't know if I'm going to play it. I don't want to get demonetized and stuff. Um, they do that, but maybe if I put it in a part without any lyrics or something, it, it won't happen. But, um, all right, let's get back to some hat action and stuff. Um, some subjects that have been brought up um, and some of my viewers want to talk about. Um, a lot of it is um, hat care. So um, I'm going to put this down for a second. We're going to talk about hat care. All right, I just want to show you my hat. This is a perfect hat to demonstrate on plus. I do everything wrong with this hat. I do it on purpose. I basically toss it around. I keep it on a pile of, like, uh, I have, like, a chair there with, like, you know, my coat, my bathrobes hanging off the side of the chair, my blue uh, tukey bag that I take to work, my little iPod bag, and, um, and this. And I just kind of throw it on this chair and stuff. So these are, this is, like, my hat that I wear at home. I always mess it up, and I do everything pretty much wrong. But I guess in a way it's good to show you because this is the typical hat that I get uh, when people say, you know, can you steam my hat? Can you fix my hat up? They, they get ready to say, you know, what's wrong with it, this and that. And I, I already know what's wrong with it, you know, pretty much everything. You know, I just, I go off the whole check, I go over the whole checklist and stuff. Um, firstly, it's too soft, okay? It got too soft. Really, just through use, it happens. Like your shoes wear out and stuff, or these get soft, you know? So um, it's part of owning it. So we gotta stiffen it. You wanna stiffen the underside with some uh, hairspray, and you could even stiffen the top a little bit. This type of hat is meant to be soft, so its softness is kind of its strength. But you gotta be, yeah, there has to be a little bit of stiffener there, not so it feels stiff but it needs to feel like better you know just snap some snap okay and this brim the, the quality of this felt is so amazing that i can re-stiffen it hundreds and hundreds of times you know i mean i've already done it dozens of times it'll keep bouncing back all right remember before you stiffen cover the sweatband and dust it with patent tape very well because anything you spray it's going to seal in all that dust underneath it so clean it perfectly before you spray with hairspray or super hold hairspray or whatever. Alright, next we have, see that right on the ribbon there? Okay, those wrinkles come, you know what this comes from, right? All right we've talked about it too, from stacking hats. Alright, when you stack hats, the hat on top pushes down the ribbon on the hat below. It goes wham. Okay, now yeah, you could steam it out, but it doesn't really work. It still shows a little shadow, like, you know, just kind of like a little shadow of a, uh, of a wrinkle. The only way to get it all out is to wet it. You have to wet this with a paper towel. You get a wet, wet, wet paper towel, like in a bowl or something. Squeeze it out, you know. Dab it here until the entire band is brown, you know, darkens up from being wet, okay? Get a second paper towel that's dry because you're going to get some drips coming down here and stuff. You want to catch those drips. Dry anything up there, you know, catch the drips. Take that wet paper towel, wet the entire thing except the bow. When it dries, let it dry naturally. It'll dry tighter and it'll get rid of all those wrinkles. All right, so there's number two. Don't stack your hats, Kevin. Okay? Um, it's overly soft. What else? There's a lining missing. Um, if you wanted a lining, that's a really cheap thing. It's generally ten dollars for uh, my shop. You just say, you know, I need a lining for the so-and-so hat. Uh, you give them your size. They come small, medium, large, extra, double X. So if you're a seven and three eighths or whatever, you take a large size lining. It's not hard. A lot of linings are not even glued in or sewn in or anything. They're just placed in. 
So yeah, you could have them place it in, maybe put a dab of glue here and there just to keep it from falling out, you know? And that's normal. Don't think it's, you know, cutting corners. It's normal. Only vintage hats, they sewed them in and stuff. Nowadays, they either use a little glue stick, like a, a hot glue gun, or nothing. They just place the lining in so that you could change them because they're like, uh, you know, disposable, changeable. All right, what else is next wrong with this hat? All right, the crooked brim. Oh, boy. The crooked brim and the lack of a flange. There's no curve on this hat. You can see it. There's curves on these. And that curve, that scoop, allows it to snap down and do the snap. This makes that noise, right? All right, snap rim. There's no snap lift on here. There's no flange. What is that? It's too soft, all right? Now, yes, it's too soft, but also there is a way of sort of pushing down right in this crack between, right where the pivot point is. The end of the brim, where the brim meets the um, the band. If you push down right there, just kind of like in the right spot, the brim will pop up a lot. Um, it's not doing it here. Yeah, kind of like that. But anyway, it pops up. That's a good way to steam it. So steam it, then you want to get that brim up. So what I generally do is steam the underside of the hat next to the bands, right here where my finger is, I steam there. Steam is coming here, and I push from behind to get the brim curvy again. Okay, then I change. I push from behind and I'm steaming in here. Okay, so the brim is now getting curvy. You're getting a flange back to it, but it's crooked as all heck. It's very crooked still. That's okay, because you get to get that neck. So you're pushing, you're pushing, you're pushing to make that flat brim a flanged brim, a curved brim. So as you push, you're steaming on the inside, okay? When you feel everything is kind of like pushed up, the next step is you, you take the edge of the brim, the end of the brim, and you straighten them out by doing the tabletop method. If you fall just straight down like that, look how straight it gets. And I see there's still a curve to it. It's not flat. If I push too hard, it gets flat. And just the weight of the brim on there would sometimes do it. If it's not enough, you have to help it a little bit with your fingers. Get everything touching the surface at the same time. And hold it. Let it cool. Just put it down on the tabletop like that while it's really hot and steamy. Let it cool, let it cool, move around. So basically, you just flange the whole thing, okay, but the end is so wavy like a seashell, you want to go back and do that tabletop thing all the way around. Steam like a, the half of the brim, psh, the whole end. You don't have to do just a crack now. Steam it, okay, and then, in fact, you're dealing with the edges now, so you really want to steam more of the edge, but I just steam, again, hole here, psh, front of the brim or half of the front of the brim. I do that tabletop thing, let it dry, turn it, and that's it. Um, it sounds kind of easy, but it's basically, it's really dependent on the stiffener. You got to get the stiffener, some hairspray, the strong kind, let it dry, and then do it. If your hat already feels stiff, you got some snap in a hat, then you don't need to stiffen it. People ask, when do you stiffen it? You stiffen it when it's too soft. If it feels so soft that it can't hold any weight, like just imagine some snow on it or some whatever, some rice on, on top of the brim. See, this brim here can hold some rice on there, right? I, I put some dried rice on there, some whatever, dried beans or a few pennies or something. It will hold it because it's stiff enough and that curve is maintained by the, the stiffness. Okay, it's like a binder. Now this hat here, there's like a no stiffener at all, okay? It's a great hat, the quality is fantastic, but it, it's lacking stiffener. It needs to be up there, okay? That's its natural position. It needs to be curved. So if I put the pennies on there now, they might hold like maybe one or two pennies. Not much though, probably none. Um, so there's your test. It's got to hold weight. Um, if it sounds strange, it's not. It's physics. Um, 
anything, no matter how expensive the fabric is, the material is, if I give you the most expensive beaver or 100 x belt, if it's thin or too soft to hold the weight of water or hold its own weight, it's going to flop and it's going to look like an old Woodstock hat, just like floppy. Um, we get a lot of these really wide brim ladies hats that are cheap and they're too thin to hold their own weight so they fold down on the lady's head like this pillowcase and they're they're worthless and they come into me can you stiffen this can you fix it and i put like 10 coats of stiffener and they're still flopping down because it's like the worst chinese felt that's just so thin and so cheap um, there's not enough of it you need more felt it's got to be double triple quadruple thick and then add some stiffener and then dense you know it's got to be dense they take lots of felt and they push it and dent, you know. So these are strong hats, you know. The hats that have some stiffener on it and stuff. If there's no stiffener, okay, it's luxurious, it's going to feel good, but shape-wise, you're not going to get a lot of control, like, you know, razor sharp edges and stuff. Um, no matter what the quality, I'm sorry. You need a little bit of sizing to make that work. Okay, I overstated my point, I'm sorry. Um, what else is wrong with this hat? I don't know. Not that much more. The rest you could clean. You clean it with packing tape. You just get yourself uh, from the 99 cent store a roll of packing tape or a lint brush, you know, or lots of masking tape. Make rings, pat it down. That's how you get the dust off and your dirty, grungy looking hat looks clean, new, and beautiful. Um, usually this is going to be 99 cent, 99% of your hat's appearance is just dusting it. Uh, I dust it really, really well. I mean, I just wipe it and I get every single dot of dust off. That's the way you got to do it, you know. And look carefully, put your, your glasses on if you need it, and just get every bit of dust when you, and then your hat's going to look really new. Like this hat, yeah, it looks okay, but it's dusty. If I gave it the old uh, packing tape treatment, it would be beautiful. It would look like a new hat. And that's all. That's all I need to do. Um, it's the difference between something looking used and new sometimes. So yeah, packing tape. Get yourself some. Get a roll. Go to the 99 cent store or whatever hardware store. It's like two bucks at most. Sometimes like one buck. All right. We're gonna play out with a little Kevin from. We're talking about. Hey, yeah. Kevin from that old. Teaching all kinds of stuff on his day.